Hey, greetings, I'm Richard. Welcome to my humble little kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite recipes. It's roasted root vegetables. As usual, it's something that you can customize, get creative with. You can mix up, match different ingredients, different seasonings, and have fun kind of seeing what different flavor profiles you can come up with. So, oh yeah, and it's also super healthy. <laughs> so, let's get started. So one of the neat things is that you can use it to get rid of a lot of leftovers too. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing today. I thought about going to the store and like buying a bunch of specific vegetables to do this with. But then I thought, hey, I've got leftovers. Why not use them up? Genius, right? All right, so today I've got um, four carrots. I've got a couple of potatoes left over from a recipe I did a week or so ago. I think if you saw that, it's the uh, pork chops and potatoes. If you haven't, check it out. Some great potato stuff there. And I've got some red beets. I've already cut the uh, greens off of them. And at some point I'm going to do a, uh, an episode about greens because greens are awesome. If you live in the southern United States, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, beets are ridiculously healthy and good for you and really sweet. And when you roast them like we're going to do, it's like candy. So um, let's get these cleaned up, chopped up, and ready to go. All right, when you get started, preheat the oven, 425, rack in the center, let it go. Um, start off with the carrots. Um, generally, I like to keep these bite-sized. And with carrots, obviously, you know, they get thicker on one end, thinner on the other. So the thinner end, you can cut a little bit longer than the shorter end. So that way you kind of keep them a similar size. That way they cook a little more evenly. Of course, I always cut off these ends because they can go into my um, stock bags in the freezer or I can put them in the compost bin or I can feed them to my dogs. My dogs love carrots. I think they're part rabbit. Yeah, close enough. All right, and we'll go ahead and do the potatoes too. Now, potatoes are not quite as dense as the carrots, but you still want to cut these up into, say, kind of bite-sized pieces, like so. And if you keep everything pretty much a similar size, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just get it close. That's all that really matters. Cooking is a bit of a science. I mean, there's chemistry and all that involved, but it allows for creativity and kind of doing stuff, I don't know, the way you want to. Experiment, have fun. Beets. Beets are an interesting vegetable. Um, they're, like I said earlier, they're really healthy. They're really sweet. Um, there's beet sugar that uh, people make from it that's better for you than regular sugar, I guess. Um, the only thing about beets is that, if you're not familiar with it, um, they can stain. The beet juice is like a really, really strong dye. Um, if you've eaten beets before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but also they can get on your clothes and stain and stuff like that. So use some precaution. Um, I should probably put on an apron, but I like to live dangerously. Um, <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and peel them, wash them first, get all the dirt off, and then you can just give them a quick little peel. They're not difficult to peel at all. Comes off pretty easy. Just try not to, you know, cut your finger. Funny thing, and this is a true story, I was peeling beets with this a while back and the peeler slipped and got my finger and I looked down and I thought, oh, no big deal, it didn't really get me. And a little while later I was thinking, man, you know, this beet juice just kind of, I thought I washed it off, but it keeps coming back and realized I'd actually cut my finger really badly. So, see what I mean? And I'll finish these up and then we'll get to cutting. Okay, the initial slaughter is over. Not too bad. Uh, now we're gonna cut these up. Cut the root end off. 
cut the stem end off. Toss those out of the way. Now, these are kind of like carrots in that they're pretty thick and dense. So you might want to cut these slightly smaller than um, the carrots were. So that way, again, they'll cook a little more evenly. And plus, you do kind of want to get them to where they're crispy on the outside and kind of soft on the inside. Kind of like me. I probably should have used a bigger knife, but oh well. My dogs are hungry. So that was the mailman. Pups just wanted me to know that they were here. Case pressing mail. Anyways, so cutting board ends up looking like this and you end up with this. Okay, now that we've got everything kind of cut up and ready to go, we need to add some seasonings. Um, we're gonna use a little olive oil and then we're gonna use a few different spices. Okay, magically everything appeared. So what I'm going to do is drizzle a little olive oil on here. Um, be kind of generous with the olive oil because it uh, will help keep it from sticking and will help it kind of crisp up some. Do some salt. And again, this is one of those recipes you can do anything with. I'm going to do a little oregano. I'll just leave that lid down there. Classy, right? Uh, a little black pepper because we like a little bite. And um, how about some garlic powder? Now, garlic's another thing. You can put whole garlic cloves in here. Um, I would suggest maybe peeling them a little too much uh, just you know how usually when you can lay the flat of the knife on the garlic and pop it to kind of crush it and pop the skin loose just give it kind of like a gentler pop that way the skin will still it'll crack the skin will still come loose but you'll still have like whole garlic cloves and they're fantastic in this and then um, again you can throw all kinds of different root vegetables in this you can um, mix match I've actually even done uh, squash because like butternut squash or acorn squash you can peel it and um, mix it up in here and it's really good too. It's not necessarily a root vegetable but it is thick and dense like the rest of like real root vegetables are so it's tasty. All right so put this in our pan. Try to keep it down to a single layer. And I'm also got a little rosemary from my garden. Just gonna throw it in here for laughs. Put a little of that on there too. Um, and then once the oven is, it comes up to heat, it's still warming up. We're gonna put it in there again, it's at 425. We're gonna put this in middle rack, cook it for about say 25 minutes and then like I've recommended in a previous episode turn the pan because ovens don't necessarily back of the oven is going to be warmer than the front so that way it'll help with the heat and cook more evenly and um, we'll see how it turns out fingers crossed okay we're back it's been about an hour the halfway point I turned the tray in the oven and I also gave it a little stir which I forgot to mention earlier but it helps keep it from sticking too much uh, the rosemary is depleted but we can leave a few of the little bits in there and um, it's gonna be ridiculously hot but for you I'm gonna risk it Let's start off with a little beady beat all crispy mmm that is so good a little crusty on the outside real soft inside phenomenal um, like I said, you can use all kinds of different root vegetables. You can do um, onions, uh, garlic, 
beets, potatoes, carrots, um, sweet potato. Uh, if you're feeling like you want to do more, you can try using some squash, like butternut squash, uh, acorn squash. Um, yeah, there's just so much you can do. And again, with the spices, you can season it salt, pepper, you can do sage, you can do fennel, rosemary, basil, oregano. Um, Herbs de Provence is really good on it. Um, and then just some olive oil. Uh, if you're not really big on cutting up everything and doing all the prep work, I know a lot of grocery stores now are selling stuff already pre-cut up, pre-chopped, pre-cleaned. So you can always buy that and then just bring it home, throw it in a bowl, season it, oil it, mix it up, cook it. So um, give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. I'll put the recipe down here. Feel free to subscribe, uh, leave a comment, uh, tell your friends. Um, also check out my website, my blog. It's richardbiss.com. I post on there at least three, four times a week. Uh, check out my podcast. It's about, all about creativity, different aspects of creativity. And of course, come back and uh, check out more cooking videos. There's more in store. So until next time, be safe, be creative, be kind. Cheers.